Okay. Uh, my name is PLG Pierre Lugano. Um, I'm originally from Montreal, Canada. This is Expose Magazine. Uh, my really longtime friend that I grew up skating with, Dan McHugh, started this magazine um, in probably the early 2000s. And um, this was, uh, I think, my first and only street cover, and that's why I think it's uh, so special. In Encinitas, right across the street from the YMCA skate park where we used to skate vert every day. And there was this like really steep uh, wooden ledge with like a really narrow run up. And um, one day after the skate vert, uh, we were filming for the Osiris video, Subject to Change. And I was like, hey, let's just go across the street and, uh, you know, uh, get, get a clip of this. And, um, um, you know, I think I think Dan shot that. Um, I'm not sure if Dan shot the photo. I'm pretty sure, but uh, we ended up getting the shot. And uh, yeah, let me look. We shot the photo. Um, hang on, cover, cover, editor, cover. Yeah, Dan Matthew uh, shot. Dan was with us skating, and we just went across the street, got a photo, got the clip. And uh, it's one of the only three street clips in my video part and subject to change. Okay. So I was super hyped when he surprised me with the cover. I definitely didn't know, wasn't planning on shooting for a cover or anything like that. So surprise, it was a great cool surprise, yeah. yeah. It was a great surprise. Um, this right here is my second cover of Expose Magazine. Uh, again, Dan McHugh's from Montreal was in town. He was staying at my house, and we went like on a we went to Paula, just got dug out. So the guys like um, literally with shovels, you know, dug, yeah. it, was, it was filled with dirt completely. They dug it out. Coping was all broken. It was kind of hard to do grinds or anything like that. But uh, I was able to get get a little line and do a back D and a back Smith on the hip. Oh, and yeah. um, you know, it just looked so rad because of like the graffiti's and with like a plaid shirt. And then, you know, I just think it was just a really like cool looking shot and again Dan surprised me with the cover uh, of the magazine. Um, you know it wasn't just like standard bird skating with pads you know it was just like a full shot and um, I think that's why it came out so rad and um, I mean I'm really happy with it you know yeah. and um, yeah another great surprise. This cover right here, Concrete Bowder, I was in Vancouver for a month with Jake Brown and Rob Lorfus. And uh, I was out there filming a video part for uh, uh, digital digital skateboarding, like Bill Weiss. Bill Weiss uh, and Dennis Martin. Yeah, yeah, and Dennis, yeah. So I was in Vancouver for a month, and they had the RDS skate park open, and we literally drove up my car up with Jake and Rob Orpheus to Vancouver, rent an apartment for a month, and every day we were there filming. And um, I remember like bringing this giant like uh, Jersey barrier to the top of our ramp. Luckily, it was plastic and send it up there and then um, getting the cover wasn't planning on it shot photos with Brian Cassie okay. and, uh, and made the cover so yeah. Colin McKay, myself, Danny Way and Jake Brown we teamed up and um, Jake and myself went from Monster and Danny and Colin in DC so we got the two brands to team up with the warehouse and the cost of the ramp and um, Cohen was kind of bummed at me because uh, he wanted us to get the cover together oh. but then um, you know, there was this really cool uh, kind of like roof gap with a ledge. And um, uh, again, I wasn't planning on this being the cover or anything. Jordan was just like, hey, let's get a shot together. And I was just like, dude, if you could back tail or back smith or something, you know, yeah. from deck to deck on the street, and I could time myself and do a back smith or a back lip over that gap, it would be pretty sick. Perfect timing. So uh, it was really hard to get the timing right because you had to start on one end yeah. and then basically push as I was, like, doing the front side grind. Yep. And then I wasn't wearing pads, so it was a little bit sketchy, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's really easy to like hook your wheels on the, the back edge there. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, sometimes your back wheel would catch in the platform right there, or you know, I don't know. Yeah, a lot, a lot of you things know, can go there's wrong. There's definitely <laughs> a lot of things that could go wrong, and the timing had to be perfect. So Jody Morris shot that photo, and uh, yeah, he was standing right there. And this is actually a cool feature. That ramp, the the ramp w was on wheels, and it could actually open up like a, a sliding door oh. and create a gap. And then we could like 
screw that piece of coping right oh, there. Okay, we could okay. have it wide open with no coping, or we could slide the ram back in and just have a plain ram. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, again, I was really surprised this make, made the cover. It was really high. It's kind of bummed that um, I didn't get to do the cover with Colin because that was like our project. And, yeah. you know, I really wish we would have gotten the cover together. But uh, it was dope to get it with Jordan, and I just think the shot was really cool. Yeah, yeah.